So we just talked about sawhorse representations of ethane, and we compared them to the model of ethane that we had. Uh, now we're going to talk about a different projection, a different way to look at the mo molecule ethane, um, and it's called a Newman projection. Okay, we can do this with any uh, molecule, just like uh, we could with the sawhorse representation, but since ethane is a very simple molecule, we'll start there. Okay. So what we're doing here, when we see this model of ethane, what we're doing is actually looking down the C1, C2 bond So hopefully you can see, and I'll label these hydrogens as such, the different hydrogens. So carbon, if we look straight down from carbon, we have hydrogen A there. Okay, Up and to the right, going towards the classroom here, that would be hydrogen B, so to the right, right? And then back to the left would be hydrogen C. So straight down from carbon one would be hydrogen A, sorry, hydrogen A. Um, to the right, right, towards this classroom, like we said, would be hydrogen B, and the other would be hydrogen C then. Okay, so this is the staggered um, view. This is the staggered view. I don't know if you can tell. But look. The hydrogen is on the opposite side of the carbon chain as the other hydrogen in the plane, right? So this hydrogen and this hydrogen are in the same plane. So now let's do the same with the other side, hydrogens. So we'll do A. B, C. So remember, A is in the plane. B, if we're looking at it this way, is to the left here, right? So to the left here. And C is that one there. Okay, and then what we can do is actually rotate 60 degrees, right? And the hydrogens will now be so going from staggered to now eclipsed like that, okay? So uh, when we do that, this one, so this hydrogen moved to over here, hydrogen over here, and this hydrogen over there. So what do we have now? And the carbon two stayed the same. So we're looking at it like that. That's what we see. Okay. Any questions on Newman projections? You'll probably um, I'm going to pass this uh, ethane molecule around, and you'll probably need to turn it a few times to identify. Um, the atoms that I'm talking about here. Okay?